So recently I've been dealing with a clown. Well, I'm not going to mention his name, but. Um, and yes, three years ago, I made a video of this when I got the skull. Um, and it's about, obviously it's the short face bear, but anyways. Yeah. And what I find so ironic is that on Google, it said that the short faced bear can run 40 miles per hour, but the other 2,000 pound animals or a little bit heavier can run like the lower numbers. Like for example, an American bison, which is the same size as a short faced bear, can run up to 35 miles per hour, you know? Like, it's like either, like, the articles are fake or the internet is just lying to you, to your face, you know? Sometimes the internet can, can fool you. But anyways, yeah. And I checked on, like, how, how fast other animals are, you know, like, for example, that are, like, animals that are around 2,000 pounds. Like, for example, a bull eland is 2,000 pounds, and it can run 25 miles per hour. A black rhino, which, you know, which is much heavier than an eland, American bison, or Arctotus simus, the short-faced bear, they could run up to, like, 34 miles per hour, 34 to 35 miles per hour. A white rhino can run up to 31 miles per hour. A hippo, which is less heavier than them, can run up to 25 miles per hour, obviously because they waddle a lot and they're, they're more into on land. Well, they spend a lot, well, they spend a lot of time in the water, so it makes sense why they're so freaking slow <laughs> a little bit. An African elephant, which, yeah, I'm aware that they're much, much heavier and they're six tons, they can run to. 15 to 17 miles per hour. So why would a giant bear run 40 miles per hour, which is the size of a bison? It makes no fucking sense. So honestly, like, I would go by what experts say, which, yeah, in the documentary, Prehistoric Creditors, yes, it's outdated. Yes, you know, I know that documentaries are not reliable sources at times, but... At least that they did put the short faced bear around 35 or 37 or 32 to 37 miles per hour at least. Not 40 miles per hour. Even the YouTuber, the Vidaden, even made a video about this like years ago back then about the short faced bear. He even made a joke that he said that, oh, the short faced bear could run 40 miles. I mean, 60, 60 miles per hour, bro. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but obviously, yeah, it was a joke. Because people overhype the short face bear, you know, because it's a giant bear and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, yeah, but let's not, like, overhype it too much. Because we know that big animals don't run as fast as, like, like other animals would. We know that. 37, 32 to 37 miles per hour makes more sense of a giant bear like that. You know? Not fucking 40. 40 is just way too much. You know? It would break its fucking legs if it would try to do that. You know? Even a modern grizzly... You know, a grizzly can run to 30 to 35 miles per hour. Yeah. And a black bear can run up to 25 to 30. Meanwhile, a polar bear can just run up to 25 miles per hour. Yeah. So don't... So it's either like real... Like, like talk to the experts... 
or go to re reliable sources, like go even documentaries for a change. So, I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, documentaries are outdated. Yeah, I'm aware of that. And yeah, there are some documentaries that are, are inaccurate, but at least like go watch Prehistoric Predators, you know, and even like experts like Dr. Paul Matthews, who's a short face bear expert himself, could also tell you on how fast of a, of this giant bear is. Yeah. And even like Artotherium, which I know that Artotherium's not in the documentary. They meant it was only Artotisimus, but still that thing's even the size of a black rhino, which is 3000 pounds. Yeah. And that thing can't run 30 miles per, I mean, 40 miles per hour. Yeah. Like either like talk to experts, read books, just do something else. Do your reliable sources. Don't go on the fucking internet. The internet is wrong sometimes. It's wrong. Yeah.